Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, we're creating a slider with Jet Elements plugin for Elementor. As you can guess, you need to search for the slider. The widget you need will look like that. You drop it over here. And now you start off with a basic style preset. Here I've got the items you have in your slider. You can add as many items as you need. But I will go with three and let me just go and fill it up with the images. So our slider looks a little bit more attractive. It can be images of any aspect ratio, you don't have to worry about that. As you see, I have added the images of very different aspect ratio, but they still fit in that slider. So now let's have a quick look what we've got inside every single item. So slide number one image you add icon there's an option to add an icon if you really fancy icons let's actually try to add an icon and the title the subtitle the description the buttons you can have up to two buttons and once you add a link here they go the button appears and if you want no buttons on your slider you can simply remove the links from it and the buttons are going to disappear. I will go with one button, why not, so I can show you more settings for the elements of every single slider. What I want to do is to go and add more icons to other sliders. And here you set the image size. And if you want the images to retain the initial, the original aspect ratio, you choose full and they will go by their original aspect ratio here in your slider but it's really nice when they all of the same ratio so now the next option you can enable or disable is whether you want to use navigation or not so navigation is the arrows at the sides of your slider so as you see i have toggled it to no and the arrows have disappeared and the next option it allows you to choose whether you want your arrows to be visible all the time or only appear on hover you see, now you cannot see the arrows, but once I hover over the slider, they appear. But I want the arrows to be there, so I toggle this to no. The pagination. The pagination is these little dots at the bottom. But in my humble opinion, you don't really need these dots if you're already using the thumbnails. Here's the option that toggles them. So whether no or yes, so either dots or thumbnails, but this is really just a personal preference. So, all right, um, whether you want to use autoplay or not, autoplay is delay, autoplay on hover. So what do you want to happen to the autoplay once you hover over the slider? So display full screen button. So here is the option that allows you to enable shuffling the items. So they will be shown not in the order that you have added them here in the items tab, but they will be shuffled and the order will be changed to random. So here you toggle this to yes if you want your slider to loop infinitely, use fade effect. So what it does is makes them not slide from the side, but to fade in another image. So the previous slide fades in the next one, etc. So between slides distance, you see that and the slice duration, the thumbnails we have already had a look at that. And here you change the thumbnails width and height. You can make them perfectly square like that. But I really did like this ratio better. So the style tab. Here you can change the general look of the slide width, height, the container width and the image scale mode. So whether you want cover or contain. Now the container padding margin, whatever it is, that's actually pretty interesting. Let's change that to 10. So the corners are a little bit more soft. So now overlay. For now there is no overlay, but if you set the overlay here you can choose the color and set the opacity. So I guess that 0.2 is pretty reasonable. 
navigation it's all about arrows so we choose the arrow icon and choose the look of the arrow on normal and on hover and it's all with the navigation pagination the pagination are those dots at the bottom so since I have switched them off we will not see any changes so let's keep that thumbnails margin thumbnails container offset and the behavior on normal hover and active so what we can do is to um, set the overlay yeah this looking great so far so the full screen mode so once you view the slider on the page you'll be able to open the slider in the full screen here it goes And here you change the icon for the full screen. I guess this icon is pretty telling, so I'm not gonna change it. You can change the icon color and the icon background color. So if you consider it to be not noticeable enough, you can go ahead and change the size of the icon. So here we go. I have made it a lot bigger and now it is more noticeable over there in the right hand top corner the settings for the icon over here at the top of our slider. I'm pretty satisfied with the look of the icon so I'm not changing anything. The title, the same. You go ahead, you change the color, typography, size, font. And now the settings for the action button, which is that button, as you can guess. Because we don't really have any other button. And you have separate settings for every of the two buttons that you can add to this slider. Isn't that great? It actually is. Because you can have two really different looking buttons on one slide. So it takes no time to set up a slider on your page with Jet Elements plugin. So you can also now view this slider in a full screen. So. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.